Students are welcomed back to school on the first day of class, even as questions remain about the school district's future. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Rowe. The first day of school in Williamsville marked the first full day on the job for its acting superintendent. The school board placed Scott Martzloff on administrative leave because of how he handled the district's reopening plan. Jeff Rusak reports on the concerns parents share tonight about Williamsville's plans to bring students safely back to school. A new face at the head of the Williamsville Central School District, but the question remains the same. What is happening with students who are enrolled in the fully remote learning option? This was the first time parents and students would have the opportunity to have their voices heard by the Board of Education since the announcement came Friday that remote learning would be postponed indefinitely. Parents feel lied to about the ability to transfer from the fully remote option to the hybrid option. When really it was all smoke and mirrors when we were getting smoke and mirrors. So we thought we fought and won in August and then you took it all away. OK, and th this is a mistake. This is a lose lose. Right now, families can switch to the hybrid model in October. Worried if they switch to the hybrid model, students would be a month behind. Some asked the district to allow their children to switch to the hybrid model immediately. One group of parents asking for transparency, demanding to know how many teachers have been hired and letting those remote teachers begin teaching immediately. The 100 percent remote learning option was promised to have parity with the hybrid model. In fact, the community was told on several occasions during public meetings that switching between remote and hybrid would be, quote, seamless and quote, could be done at any time and as many times as we wanted. The Board of Education provided no new answers on Tuesday night. The acting superintendent suggesting answers about remote learning would be ready by the end of the week. And we will communicate with you as soon as we have the right answers. And as soon as we make sure that we've got this situation to the best of our ability, we're going to let you know. And it will be soon because you deserve it to know soon. Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News.